Now let's consider one last thing, and that thing is how can we take a phase modulated signal and demodulate it so that we can recover the original message? So the instantaneous frequency of a phase modulated signal is going to contain the derivative of the message. So the information in a phase modulated signal uh, is really contained in the way that we're changing the angle directly. But if we know the derivative of the message, we can find the instantaneous frequency is related to the derivative of the message. And the actual phase modulated signal is going to look like this. So we can see that the modulated signal does contain the message inside of the argument of the cosine. So if we follow a similar method to the frequency modulation and take the derivative, we are going to again need to use the chain rule where we are going to say that gt is the argument of the cosine and f is a times cosine of the function gt that we just defined. The derivative of gt is going to be the carrier frequency plus some constant multiplied by the derivative of the message. And the derivative of f is going to be minus a times the sine of gt, which we've just defined. So if we combine all of these, we get a derivative of the phase modulated signal that looks like this. And that phase modulated signal now has a term in the coefficient that contains the derivative of the message. So this is good, this is, we're on the right track because now we have separated the message, we've turned part of the message, the derivative of the message, into something that's multiplying that sine wave. And so just like before, we now could have a situation where we have a derivative of the phase modulated signal that's shown in black and the envelope of that derivative of the phase modulated signal is the dotted line and the envelope of that signal is going to contain the derivative of the message. So the derivative of the message is not quite the message, but we could pass that uh, derivative of the phase modulated signal through an envelope detector, and then we would be left with the envelope, which would contain the derivative of the message. And that signal that contains the derivative of the message could be passed through an integrator in order to recover the original message.